Hello and welcome back to Jeanette's Zen Bag Den. I'm here to show you some really awesome Christmas gift ideas from 31. Um, I'm gonna start with one that I've done tons and tons of times and it's always a huge hit, is our essential storage tote. Actually, I'll probably have to hold it up. This is our essential storage tote. It comes in lots of different colors. I chose a nice neutral one for this one. So I like to do this as a movie night in, like a games night or a movie night in pack. If you're gonna do a games night, maybe pop in a game. If you're gonna do a movie night in, I usually like hang a little gift card on the side that says, you know, enjoy your movie night in. Um, everybody loves this because they get to keep this amazing reusable grocery bag. And what I do inside is I've got a box of brownies, big thing of popcorn, and a big thing of nachos. So it's kind of just a fun theme gift basket, but you get to actually keep the bag and it's actually reusable instead of like the gift ones. Like we used to get like those wicker ones that we would just toss. So this is a really nice gift bag. So what did I do? Cause you're like, see how that's still kind of propped up nicely. So lots of times when you get orders, they send you this plastic air bag to keep it from getting squished. I have kept them. I've kept enough to do a couple of gift bags. So that way when I wrap it up, and I'll probably go to the dollar store and get a nice big thing of cello, it's gonna look really good. It's gonna look like a professionally wrapped gift bag with everything sitting up on top. Cause you don't wanna feel like, you know, cause this will hold a lot of groceries. You don't want it to look like you guys have a grocery run. You want it to have a nice theme basket. Kind of a cool movie night idea, gift night, date night, whatever you wanna call it. Um, new mom bag. It's just a really neat one. So this one's our essential storage tote. And I use this one tons of times. Um, the other one I'll do if I don't do the essential storage tote, and again, you don't have to do a Christmassy pattern, but I got this one to show you a nice Christmassy pattern, is our medium utility tote. I gave this one to my mom a couple years in a row because this is a nice size grocery bag for her too. So you can do the exact same thing with our medium utility tote. So that's another good one as well. People love our toes, you guys. So that's why they love receiving these. And I thought it'd be fun if you did want to do a nice Christmassy pattern just for like a different one. Especially maybe they've seen 31 before. Maybe they wouldn't buy a fancy Christmas themed one for themselves, but they'll, you know, as a gift. That's really nice. This is another really popular one. This is our little Carriel Caddy. I got this one in a Christmassy pattern. You don't have to. Um, they're gonna be able to use it afterwards. It's got this little strap. They're gonna be able to use it afterwards as a little at home storage one. My daughter uses hers in her bathroom and she puts her floss sticks and then like, you know, bathroom stuff on the top. So what I did with this one, okay, so you can either put um, like shredded paper in the bottom or I'm that person at a party that keeps all the old tissue paper and I reuse it. So I stuck it full of the bottom with some tissue paper because again, you want the gift to kind of sit up high. Stuffed it full of some tissue paper so it sits up nice when you wrap it in the cell. You can still see some of the items. So I've got some soap, some hand soap, and fancy bar of soap. Um, I've got the um, hand sanny, and then I popped in a couple of chocolates. I, every year, go to the body shop on Black Friday, and they've got some really, really good deals. So that way you can fill it full with a couple of things for not much money. Okay, so check that out if you want some ideas. I was also thinking if you're gonna do more of a guy, cause right, girls, they're bath stuff, kind of feminine, I thought it would be really fun for a guy. Instead of doing that, I found this at the Lint chocolate store. It's some really fancy hazelnut spread. I couldn't find that I was gonna go and get like a, like a thing of graham crackers. I didn't have it at home, but like, you know, one maybe package of graham crackers or some fancy crackers, like kind of cookie crackers. Put that in the side, and then they're gonna have, gonna have like some fancy chocolate spread, and then some kind of nice crackers. Maybe some, if you make some red pepper jelly, that'd be really nice, put some red pepper jelly with some crackers in there, and you can kind of do a little homemade gift, because you maybe the guys don't want a smelly soap. So just to kind of give it a different theme. Um, another really inexpensive one, like maybe your kid's got a couple of bus drivers, or like just a whole plethora of people, or you wanna keep some little, you wanna give some to the neighbors, these are our reusable snack bags. This is the small. They come in a large, depending how many you buy. Um, small or medium, pardon me. You can get different sizes, but they're about five bucks a bag. And they're really nice. You can kind of, you know, tell them what it is in the card. 
uh, although you probably don't have to. I sent one to my girlfriend. She loved it. She's like, thanks for the use of the snack bag. Oh, actually, you don't even have to because I kept this in here. It's got some instructions of what to use their reusable snack bag for. And I actually found at Costco these really nice, they were on sale, these after eight chocolates that were wrapped up really nicely. And then, because you know, the problem is always, like, what am I going to put inside of it? So I just stuffed it full of a whole bunch of chocolates. And again, I'll go to the dollar store. I got my big roll, to be honest. And I'll wrap it with some cello and tie a nice ribbon around there. And that's another really, really easy gift idea. So I hope you enjoyed some of my gift ideas. I hope you enjoyed some of the tips of what I put inside of them to share with you and kind of how to save a little bit of money and kind of make it a nice, again, a nice theme gift basket, but nobody wants the wicker basket because <laughs> they don't know what to do with it or it's just going to end up at Goodwill so they can at least reuse their tote. So thank you. If you have any questions, find me on Facebook, shoot me a message at Jeanette Zen Bagden. Um, so thanks.